Hey everybody, nice to see you guys. Um, this is Michelle, San Jose City College Ceramics, 46A, 46B, and Art 89. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about preparing for the big coil project. I'm sorry we're not in the studio together, but since we're not, at least we can start preparing for our eventual return and we'll be all ready to go with our designs. What we're going to do today is to make a full scale template for the plan, which means we're going to make a, a plan, a map that's the same size as the eventual pot that you're going to make. Uh, you've probably found all the information up on Canvas, and it's there, um, 46A, 46B, and 89 all have different height requirements. We're going to concentrate on 46A today, 14 inch height requirement. First thing I'm going to ask you to do is find your source image. I sent you lots of links. The source image that I'm going to use today is this beautiful pot from ancient Greece. It's got a wonderful drawing on it. it. Looks like slip drawing and it's featuring an owl. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to make a sketch of the image. If you're working from your phone, it's going to be a little bit harder to see, but use a full sheet paper and do some deep looking. Um, draw every little detail you can about the piece. It'll give you an idea about what is it about this piece that you really like. Is it the form? Is it the decoration? Um, and it's going to give you a chance to develop your own aesthetics. Once you've drawn the source piece, I'm going to ask you to do three variations. So you're going to take the source piece and you're going to change it slightly. Uh, the three variations that I drew here, the first one you can see I added a handle, the second one here I changed the background, and the third one here I added some different details and changed the shape. So have some fun with your own designs. If you don't have a sketchbook, don't worry about it. Use what you have. I'm using copy paper here. I folded it in fours, and it's really cool because it's going to make this nice little mini sketchbook. And it's also going to give me some more space to do some more design um, exploration inside my mini sketchbook. All right, so I'm all ready to go. I'm ready to make my um, large paper template. A template's going to be like a map. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a paper bag. A paper bag's going to work really well. If you don't have a paper bag, you can try a big old piece of cardboard. You could try um, any kind of paper that you have. You can tape some paper together. But I have a paper bag here, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to get out my ruler. I know I need it to be 14 inches tall. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to block out my 14 inch marks. So here at the bottom, here we got 14 inches. Next, what I think I'm going to do is take my paper and fold it in half so I know where the center point is. If you have a printer, you can print out an image, and that's going to make it a little bit easier to diagnose the shape. Um, I'm going to fold this in half and then fold it in half again. That's going to show me my center point. And from this, I can use this as a start to decide how I want to lay out my piece on the template. So I can see here that the widest part is a little bit lower than the center. And I can also see that the base and the top are pretty close to the same width. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use some paper bag to make my template. I want a 14 inch pot, so I'm going to first mark 14 inches. So 14 inches. And then I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half so I know where the center point is. And then I'm going to sketch in my form. Now, usually I like to sketch it in with pencil, and that'll give me a chance to make a few mistakes and make my corrections if I want. Um, but for you guys, I'm going to do it in pen. The first thing I want to start out with is the base. I like a six inch base so that the piece doesn't tip over. Remember, we live in earthquake country. So I'm going to start with a six inch base by putting my ruler right on the three inch mark of the center line. And I can mark my six inch there. And I'll show you where I am so far with my dark pen. And then I'm just going to sort of uh, sketch my pot um, as best as I can seeing the top, seeing where it curves out the widest, seeing where it curves back into the foot, and I'm going to make myself a nice little thumbnail sketch. 
Now you can see that it's a little bit asymmetrical, not a problem. I have a trick for this. I'm going to choose uh, this side since it looks most close to my original, and I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to use this contour, flip it over, and I'll use it to trace the second side. Now I'm going to be using this as my plan so that when I'm building my piece, I know exactly how and where to turn the piece inward and to flare it outward. One of the things I want to do next is I want to uh, take some measurements. So here we go. I've got one side cut out. I'm going to fold on the center line. I'll make my mark. going to give me a little closer to symmetrical. At this point, I'm going to start putting in all my dimensions. I'm going to go over to this one, which I worked up a little bit before. I'm going to measure the bottom, the width of the bottom. I'm going to measure the width of the top. I'm going to put a measurement on the height of the piece, where it gets the widest, where it flares in, and I'm going to put all those measurements in. Once I have my template set, I can fold it up put it in my sketchbook or my notebook and be ready to go when I get back into the studio. Now, um, I hope everybody's staying safe at home. I hope you're staying creative, keeping your spirits up. Can't wait to get back into the studio with you guys. Um, stay inspired. Wash your hands. Signing off.